Hey guys, it's Ethan here with Frag Boss, and today we have the TT Sports Mecha G1 mechanical keyboard. So I've reviewed a few mechanical keyboards so far. Uh, most of them are the same. A uh, few have some added features, uh, which I'll talk about on this keyboard. So basically, this keyboard is a mechanical keyboard. It uses uh, Cherry MX Black switches. See if I can get a little closer so you can see that right here. The uh, end of this cable, which I actually can't unplug because it's plugged into my computer, has two USB ports and um, two 3.5 millimeter headphone ports. One for your mic, one for your headphones. The reason is because this head, this keyboard actually has um, two USB ports and a 3.5 millimeter for your headphones and for your uh, microphone. And the two USB ports are powered so you can actually plug in a hard drive. Uh, I've done it. A hard drive that requires a lot of power won't work very well, um, but like flash drives and simple stuff like that will definitely work. The overall layout of the keyboard is, is fine for the most part. I didn't have any issues with it like some of the other keyboards I've tried. Um, you have a, a medium size enter key with uh, the slash and the, I don't even know what that's called, but you have that instead of down there. You have a long shift key, so it's fairly standard layout. You have an FN key over here, and you have your media keys up here. So you have uh, track back, play, pause, stop, track forward, volume up, volume down, volume mute. These pretty much work in everything uh, that I tried anyway. I usually use FUBAR. Um, it worked phenomenal. I didn't try iTunes, but I would imagine if it works in FUBAR, it probably works in iTunes. Um, you also get a PS2 adapter, which I do recommend using over the USB. Uh, through USB, I was able to get like between six and eight simultaneous key presses, kind of as much as I could test accurately. Um, but with PS2, it was, it was full no ghosting. So if you are um, if you don't play in the WSD cluster or whatever, if you somehow have more fingers on one hand, you should use the PS2 adapter. Otherwise, the USB is fine. I didn't find any issues with it. Uh, this wrist rest comes off. Just like that. Let's see if we can... There we go. Um, there's nothing to it. I like the logo there. It makes it stand out a little bit. And on the back, you can see it just it hooks in with a little hooky thing. It has two uh, four rubber base, so it doesn't slide. Uh, on to the keyboard, I prefer typing with a wrist rest because it actually uh, resolves a lot of the fatigue that I have. So we'll flip the keyboard over, and on the back. We have four very large rubber feet. Uh, we also have level adjustments, only two. Uh, so you have flat or just kind of up a little bit. I like this position a little bit better. This combined with the wrist rest, um, I could type for a very long time and I had no fatigue. Uh, the last feature I think this keyboard should uh, be noted on is this wire is extremely thick um it's not never gonna fray and it would be extreme it would be extremely hard to cut uh so i think that of all the keyboards uh with the exception of maybe one this cable is phenomenal it's not it's really not gonna it's not gonna break uh overall one thing that i noted that was exceptional in my opinion was the space bar a lot of mechanical gaming keyboards, uh, to be honest, are fairly cheap compared to some of the better keyboards that you can you can find out there. But this uh, this TT Sports Mecha G1 in particular, um, there's no sagging on the spacebar. So if you take a typical uh, like a Steel Series, I think even Zoe's keyboard had this issue. Uh, if you take and barely press from one side of a lot of mechanical keyboards, it will only press down like one side of the spacebar. It's not really 
a testament to performance, more so the build quality. So, you know, TD Esports took some time figuring out the keys. They all press the same. There's, like, all the way over here, they all press the same. Even the space bar and on any end. And shift key. There's no sagging on the shift keys or the caps locks or the tabs. Enter. It, it's pretty phenomenal build quality. The other thing I think worth uh, mentioning, uh, which I've actually skipped on some of my reviews because I usually review them right after I get the package. This one I waited about a week and a half to actually review for this reason. Um, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let me get it straight on here. Let's bring it up a little closer. All right. Let's get the light out. So you can see that the W and the Q are two different hues of white. And that's because uh, the print on these keys get really dirty. Now, it's, it's not permanent, so you don't have to worry about it. If the print wears off, obviously it's permanent. But this is just like dirt, um, which I have clean hands. But this is just dirt getting on the print. So if you just take like a Q-tip and swab it with some alcohol, it'll come off after a while. So uh, if you're, you know, OCD clean, um, you might want to replace the key set on this. <laughs> there's no, there's no better way to get around it. Uh, I'm waiting for a gaming keyboard that has engraved keys. Um, so they don't get dirty, but I haven't found one of those yet. So if anyone knows of those, just let me know and I'll ask for a review unit so I can get it out to you. Uh, overall, this keyboard is phenomenal. I think, in my opinion, it's the best gaming keyboard I've reviewed. It performs flawlessly. Uh, the build quality is phenomenal. Uh, it doesn't slide only when you want it to, like I'm trying to do. So it's pretty great keyboard. And I look forward to see if TT Esports will come out with a 10 keyless without this because I don't use this and it's unnecessary. But I absolutely recommend this keyboard to anyone looking for a nice mechanical gaming keyboard. And with the added addition of the USB ports, it makes it makes it even that much easier to recommend it. So check out the website, check out their website, and make sure you read the text review if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer anything you guys have. Thanks for watching.